right? So this is the first thing that I want to make sure to make sure that the user access is authorized, either for a new user, either for a modified user, and when a user access is terminated for any any user that has been um, has been terminated, to make sure that that user's access is revoked. So this is not only to make sure that the access is appropriate. Is to make sure, hey, if this individual has left this role, like for me, for example, if I should leave my HR role and move into, you know, accounts payable, well, they need to make sure that all those HR accesses that I had are revoked, right? And then the accesses for the accounts payable role is, you know, back to where it's supposed to be. I mean, which means that's the access that I'm supposed to have. So the user access is authorized and appropriate and encompasses the new users, modified users, and also terminated users. What are the other things that we look at in our access control? We look at physical access to computer hardware is limited to appropriate users, right? So if you have a system and that laptop is supposed to be, you know, for specific use and when they were onboarding you, they gave you a, they gave you a laptop that is supposed to be for the engineers and you are HR personnel, right? That access to that computer hardware, that computer, that that system is already inappropriate because they're giving the wrong personnel the laptop for another department, right? So it's to ensure that the physical security is also very very high. Like if you, if you, you know, back then when we used to work in the office and you go to certain rooms and you see like, hey, this door is locked, right? What does that mean? That means that that environment is physically secure. That means you're not supposed to have access to go to that room, to that area of the company. When you use your badge and you're badging, when you realize, oh, oh, why is this door not opening? Well, it's not opening because you're not supposed to be in that environment. What is the other thing that we, the other control that we can test on the access control? Is the access to privileged IT function is limited to the appropriate user. Limited IT functions, access to, to privileged, right? What is another word for a privileged user? The super user. So when you are a super user or a privileged user, your access to an environment or to an application or to a software is going to be different compared to a regular user who is just supposed to write, who's just supposed to have a right access, right? So this means that for me, they are regular users, right? The users who are supposed to have read-only read access. And the users who have read-only and write access, those are the super users. Those are the people who have more access to do, to do more operations or more functions in that environment. 